Good morning. Welcome to our regular homeschool day morning routine. Right now, being pregnant, I'm trying to sleep as long as possible, so my day starts when the first child wakes me up. Right now, it's always Eli, and it's always 7 o'clock. Today, I got a shower, and then I always do my hair and makeup right away, or it won't happen. I love getting up before the kids get up, but when I'm pregnant or have a newborn, it's not always possible. The older school-age children have to get up somewhere between 6 and 7.30. They get to choose, so by the time I get down to the kitchen, usually they have gotten themselves breakfast and helped the little ones as well. Belle here has already gotten a start on school. Sometimes I have to use my intercom system to call up a child who has not made it to breakfast yet, and then I always make sure the monitor's on because Hope is still sleeping usually at that point. Today, Solo made me breakfast. Bagel breakfast was not enough to fill up some of these kids, so Judah's making some smoothies for a side, and Luca made himself some tea, which he does a lot. I am getting Solo some lunch prepared. After those kids cleared out of the kitchen and I was able to get my counters back to myself. Everybody has their own jobs in this house. We like to call them zones. And mine is cleaning the counters off and cleaning the pots and pans. I don't feel like anybody else can do it that well, so I like to keep that job for myself at this point. Luca's zone is rinsing all the rest of the dishes. He loads the dishwasher and gets it started. He does that three times a day, so this is his breakfast turn, obviously. And at lunchtime, he also cleans the windows, especially the main doors that we use all the time. Micah's zone is clearing the table and then wiping it down. He does that three times a day, as well as another zone that I'll show you in a little bit. And Judah's zone is the floors and the trash. He takes out the trash and washes sweeps and washes the floor three times a day and it's always a mess. Lately while the kids have been doing their zones and getting the kitchen all cleaned up I have been taking a little time to just write myself a to-do list for the day. I find I have been very forgetful lately so it really helps me to have something written down that I can also add to it throughout the day as I remember things that need to be done and um, in full disclosure, I even put some simple things on there like getting the mail because it's always great to check something off that takes a little effort. By the way, so far I have never gotten everything checked off by the end of my day. Now you see Micah's other zone. He cleans our guest bathroom, just our main bathroom there in the hallway. Um, he gets to do the toilet and wipe down the sink and counter every day, so he likes to split that up into two parts, so in the morning he usually just does the counter. After getting ready and taking care of his own, Judah has already gotten onto school. It looks like today he is working on a report for current events, the decline of Detroit. And Luca has already gotten on to piano practice. It's his favorite thing and he loves to do it first. Okay, switching it up here a little, next thing I have to do is my favorite job. Well, not really. But I have to brush Micah's teeth, Tori's teeth, Eli's teeth, and Noelle's teeth. In this video, I tried to cut out some of the spitting because you don't need to see all of that. I brush them, floss them, and I do the girl's hair. I like to keep all of this stuff in my cupboard right in the kitchen because our girl bathroom is in one spot of the house and our boy bathroom is in another spot of the house and it's just much more likely to get done and get done by me if I keep it all right in the kitchen where I always am. always clean out our kitchen sink. As you can see, Eli is taking that upon himself today. Recording yourself is a good way to find out that you leave the water running way too long. looks 
about this, doesn't she? Just this last week, Belle has been asking me if she could get Hope out of bed in the morning. So when Hope is waking up, um, Belle loves to go get her and get her dressed. It is so fun greeting a happy baby when she just wakes up. So I understand why she wants to do it. And it also saves me a little time and lets me finish what I'm doing. Next you'll see Noelle got her stuff dressed this morning. It is all backward, but that's okay. I can easily fix that. I love that she loves to be independent right now. take lots of time every morning for snuggles and enjoying our baby. She's just too cute not to. Eli and Tori have already gotten themselves started on school. And Noelle has pulled out a little preschool book herself. Micah has also started on school. He works independently a lot in the morning. Teaching or homeschooling a large family with a lot of different ages, I really like to start off with the little ones. I find that I am not as urgent in my mind about getting them taught as I am the older ones, so it helps if I can get started with them right away, get done with them right away, let them go play or finish up their their assignments as needed and then move on to the older kids because I will always get the older kids done but if I save the little ones for last they won't always get done. After their readers you'll see here we moved along to me reading aloud to them. We are finishing up boxcar children today. While I read aloud to them of stories I really like it when they do play-doh or paint today. They're painting pictures that are supposed to have something to do with what we're reading about. We'll also spend some time reading our poetry and reading little visits with God, which is what we do for our Bible, and we memorize a verse out of it. As you can see, I am multitasking by feeding hope at the same time. I am always multitasking. Noelle is going to show off her artwork to you. my older kids start out their day working independently. They work through their checklists and get stuff done while I'm taking care of the little ones and teaching the little ones and then I'll spend time with each of them checking their work and reading aloud to them. For some reason Belle does not want the natural light today. She's just using her lamp and it looks dark in there. Finally the last part of my morning routine that I cannot forget is I always check what's for dinner that night right away in the morning and then I either start the crock pot or get some meat out to thaw whatever it takes for that dinner. If I don't look at my meal plan in the morning it is basically useless to me because I would already be behind. So I really like to check that in the morning and make sure I'm getting done what needs to be done. This morning I am putting these chicken breasts in the sink just so they can be thawing. Thanks for watching our morning routine for our regular homeschool day, and we hope you have a great day yourself. <laughs>